Yeah. Yeah, we're live. Here, Julian, you wanted to have a look. Well, that's that's what cool. it looks like. It's cool, fancy. isn't it? That's fancy. fancy. So, hello. Welcome to Unwind Time. Yep, good afternoon. <laughs> My name is Hayley. If you don't know me already, we've got the lovely Regan. Hello. <laughs> and we've got a wonderful guest, Julian Pace. Yes. Afternoon. Afternoon. So, Regan, would you like to introduce the wine that we have? The wine afternoon? that I'm only drinking once again. This is becoming a trend, I swear. We get wine drinkers on here. Um, no, George is excused because he has to go to a school later, so that's okay. That's fine. Responsible. Responsible, yeah. Um, I've got, I'm drinking the Tempest 2 Cab Merlot. Um, it's a South Australian wine. And to be honest, I picked it up because of the label. Because, you know, that's what I'm about. If you can zoom in, you can see that. Yay. I haven't tried it yet, but I will. Try it and tell us what it's like. You'll see my, li my live reaction. <laughs> so, okay, go on, you try and tell us. <laughs> I feel like we're missing out, Harry. It's delicious. <laughs> awesome. Guys, <laughs> delicious. Cheers, um, everybody. <laughs> so, obviously, we're very lucky to have Julian with us today. Very, very lucky. Yeah, I appreciate that. For those who don't know you, Julian, because there's a lot of people that do, but for those that don't, could you introduce yourself, what you do, and just tell us a little bit about yourself. Yeah, perfect. Well, thank you uh, for both for having me, and most importantly, I really appreciate the opportunity to come speak on unwind time. Uh, mm. I like it. I love the concept, and I do like a good glass of red. It's definitely one of the things I do to unwind, so I appreciate it. But yeah, so my name's Julian. For the people that don't know me, uh, I run a company and founder of a company called The Happiness Co., which is really about a social movement, uh, which is bringing people together and really how we think, feel, and act uh, I guess socially, mm -hmm. uh, how we treat each other socially, uh, and making sure that it's everyone's responsibility to make someone's else life a little better. So that grow and give, grow and give. And we started Happiness Co only at the end of last year, but you know, been working in this space for a, for a long time around how can we make people's lives a little better, not fix their problems. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like you have to own your problems and fix them, but how can we help provide that little bit of support, assistance, and and I guess guidance. Because so many people want to change, so many people know there's more for them in life, so many people want more happiness, but they get a little little lost in yeah. life, which is the circumstances, which is our relationships, our jobs, you know, our finances, our health, and sometimes if you can help people up in life, it goes a long way to making their life a lot better. Mm -hmm. So what are some of the examples of trying to make people's lives a little bit happier? So what kind of things are you doing as part of Happiness Code 2? to implement that? Yeah, one of the big things that we do is we run a 21 Day Happiness Challenge, yeah. uh, which is about, together we can. It's about for the individual finding you're happy, for, for the people inside the program, it's together we can. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter where you are in life, it doesn't matter how lost you are, how sad you are, you want to feel instantly better in a moment, just literally help someone else on their journey. So they come into the challenge, uh, and there's homework pillars every single day mm -hmm. that are, are led by myself and my amazing ambassadors and coaches mm -hmm. around... tools that will help. You know, mm. it's just another tool. It's just a part yeah. of a kind of mental health plan or an unhappiness plan to get you back to having more joy, having more courage, yeah. having more confidence in all aspects of your life. So that's a really big part of what we do. Uh, and it encourages people to be vulnerable. And I think there's a real beauty in that, yeah. being yeah. vulnerable. Oops. Definitely, yeah. So many people try and project strength. And, and true strength is vulnerability, which yeah. is, I don't have it all worked out. And neither do I. It's about understanding that things will happen, life will come, yeah. um, your problems don't go away, yeah. you just get better at dealing with them. So we want to condition people to be stronger because as a society we've been conditioned to be soft and weak at times. Yeah. We want everything so easy, we want it to be like, you know, the click of a, you know, like a switch, uh, you know, what is it, sorry, a click of a switch and it's, it's done, it's, mm. it's better. And it's so like true. you have to do the work. Yeah. If you want it, you want your life to change, first you have to change. So what kind of people are going to be coming into the program? So who's going to be saying, right, I need this, someone that's feeling unhappy at the moment, unfulfilled? What, who are the type of people that really need to get into that program or will have that kind of... Yeah. attraction to it a great question i think it's anyone that's just feeling there's something missing you know how you know there's something wrong yeah and mm -hmm. a big part of why we started the company uh and, and why we want to be a big big solution to helping people through unhappiness is that about nine years ago uh, i lost my father he took my, my father lost, lost his life to suicide mm -hmm. and and i a lot of people ask me this question did he lose his life because he was depressed 
And I was like, yeah, it ended at depression, but it started at unhappiness. Mm-hmm, yeah. And yeah. there's so much awareness around mental health right now. It's really powerful around depression, around anxiety, and, and I'm a big advocate. Uh, big, I'm an ambassador for Are You Okay? I'm a really big advocate of it. But if we could stop people and look up and out, and the Dalai Lama talked about this. So many of us look for the solution inside our problems. If we could look up and grow our awareness and look out and mm-hmm. think about, well, what happens before mm-hmm. sometimes we get to depression? Uh, yeah. You know, it starts with unhappiness and our relationships with each other, that disconnection. Yeah. Our jobs cause us so much pressure, so much stress in mm-hmm. life mm-hmm. that we feel like we need to be more, to become more, to have more. It's just not true. Like yeah. a lot of happiness is a psychology of the decisions that you make and how you design it, which is what happiness code is all about. It's not the be all and end all, it's just another thing to make you design anything in life. You're like, if you want to have a savings plan, you put a budget in place. Mm-hmm. Yeah? yeah. If you wanted to have a health plan, you put a, a health and fitness routine in place. You put yep. a nutrition plan in place. Happiness plan is the same. Put a plan in every day, work on it, and how would you become the best version of you? Because a lot of people get mixed up between pleasure and happiness. Yeah. Pleasure is instant. Yeah, yeah. 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 But Short you get term. a phone, you get a new handbag, you get yeah. something you're really excited about. And and then, yeah. yeah. In three months, yeah. it's just a phone, or three months, it's just a handbag. Yeah. 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 Happiness is long term. And yeah. happiness is very much in, intrinsically driven. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, so some yeah. of the, the people that go through, that, so you've, you, they've gone through the program, you've had anyone that's completely gone through the whole program already, yeah. and what kind of things are coming up? Like yeah. a results or... Yeah, we've had probably about, about now 600 people go through the program, mm-hmm. and it's wow. amazing to see the, the growth in people. Like a lot of people say, how can you change your life in 21 days? It's... You can get great awareness in 21 days. Yeah. A lot of people think they're going to learn about happiness, but actually we teach them what makes them unhappy. Because mm-hmm. if you get, it's like anything, if you can let go of the baggage you've been carrying and the, and the pain of yesterday and just kind of focus on what you have, mm. what you can do, like these three kind of power questions, what happened, what does it mean to me, what am I going to do about it? Mm-hmm. If we can focus, you can't change the past. Yeah. The past is the past and it always will be. Yeah. But you can change what it means to you. Mm-hmm. and you can change what you do about it, yeah, ultimately. Yeah. It's like it's still a fundamental choice that you get. And if you think about it, we all, it's a great saying, like divorce the story and marry the truth. Mm. And I like to be really raw with this particular message. Like when I was younger, after my father died, my story was my father died, he left me, he hurt me, I'm lonely, I'm sad, I'm, I don't deserve happiness. I just used to believe to myself I didn't deserve love and I didn't deserve happiness. Mm. That's actually not the truth. That was the story I told myself to allow myself to think, feel, and behave certain ways. Mm -hmm. It's that victim mentality, which is we blame, we justify, and we complain. I just want to flip that. It's like, yeah, your pain is an amazing thing about being lost because you get to find yourself. When you're lonely, there's great things when you can sit with your emotions and learn from them. Yeah. The new story now, as I talk about divorcing the story of matter of truth, is he does love me. He's with me every single day. He still inspires me every single day. Mm-hmm. And we've all lost someone. Everyone's lost someone. Yeah. And in life, things get taken from you. And this is part of life. But it's about be- building the strength and resilience to know that I still have control of my own life. Because we yeah. so yeah. easily give control up. Here's my happiness. Yeah. Here's my happiness. Or Blame. make me feel better. Yeah, outside yeah. source yeah. rather than ourselves. Yeah, and a lot of the times your, the problems that you have become your story as well. You take it and choose to make it part of who you are when really it's not. Yeah, it's like so. an identity. It's like, yeah. if yeah. I'm not this, then who am I? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, there's a more, and you get, and uh, sadly, there's more attention in the world, and I know we're talking about marketing today, there's more attention in the world to uh, negative connotation. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. we, we see more negative. Media tells us negative things, the news tells us negative things. And mm-hmm. we always have to feel like we have to have this perfect filter. Mm-hmm. But it's okay not to be okay. Yeah. And I love helping and assisting people find the joy in being so lost. Mm-hmm. Finding the, the real power in being uh, in pain. Mm-hmm. And the real strength being in sadness. There's a true beauty in it if you learn to change the meaning. Because yeah. it's going to come. Like anticipate. Bad things will happen. Life is going to knock you down and slap you in the face. Yeah. It's not about trying to avoid these hurdles is about how do you make sure you can get over them really quick and you're going to fall we all fall it's about how you get up quicker yeah, as well. yeah. have yeah. you noticed any kind of themes as in the issues that are people that are coming through your programs the kind of things that are coming up which is making them unhappy has there been any kind of pattern there at all or? yeah yeah a really a really big one it's not just from the work that we've done it's, it's backed up by a heap of research yeah that one of the greatest things that bring us happiness that's causing us unhappiness one of the greatest things that bring us happiness is relationships. 
relationships with each other, our friends, our family, yeah. and, and yeah. our spouse. So yeah. true, yeah. And one of the things that's causing us so much unhappiness is disconnection. Mm-hmm. Because there was a study done last year, it talked about we're bit like IQ, EQ, so mm. intellectual intelligence, emotional intelligence, mm-hmm. so how you feel. Yeah. The good news is we're getting smarter, which is we're going to have robots that drive us around soon, and, and technology is getting so great, and technology is a great advocate of, of being connected in so many ways. Mm-hmm. But unfortunately, a side effect of everyone working more, being off the grid more, trying to be more, we're losing emotional intelligence, yeah. which mm-hmm. is one really powerful thing, which is empathy, mm. which is, I know how you feel, I know how I feel, and yeah. how can we make it better? When you don't have empathy for someone, mm. it's very blank, it's very, it's, it's very, people sort of express it as cold. Yeah. So it's like, if I don't know how I feel, if I don't know how to know how to feel, how's someone else going to know how they feel, and then it's why we become disconnected. Mm. We still know how to have fun with each other, we still know how to enjoy life, but the deepest, darkest pains and the and the sore points in our life, we don't have to digest anymore. Mm. And one of the things that I love that I've heard you say before is about when someone comes to you with a problem and how to react. That to me is really powerful because mm. I tend to... So, so tell, tell everyone what you actually say, as in you don't try and solve that problem for them. Yeah, you're there listen. and yeah. you're allowing space to listen to them. And yeah. to me, that was wonderful. Wasn't that's it? a really good piece of advice. I think yeah. a lot of people would like that. Yeah. yeah, I think for everybody that's going through something difficult, I'm sure you will appreciate this, and for everyone that's trying to support someone going through something difficult, it's really something really amazing to remember in this whole process, mm-hmm. that we always need a solution. Yeah. We, I use the reference of holding space, which is just allowing someone to share and be open and be vulnerable and be real, and allowing them to own their problems and allowing them to be honest with you and never make it about you. And I mean, the person supporting someone saying, are you okay? Mm. And are you okay, the whole brand has a very simple message. Are you okay is ask the question, yeah. listen, encourage action, and then follow up. It's, mm. it's very much mm. this, like ask the question, and when they start speaking, just listen. We don't need to give people solutions. People are their own experts. Mm. They know so much. They just need to express how they feel and get it actually out because once it's out, they can own it. And they yeah. can come to their own solution. Yeah. yeah. And, yeah. and so many people say, oh, I think you should do this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Don't make it about you. If there's one bit of advice I can give anyone going through or helping someone through some challenges, I know it comes from a place of great intention. Like you want to help. Yeah. And yeah. It's, that's the beautiful part about people. We want to help. Yeah. The greatest way we can help is sometimes just hold space. And listen, because as soon as we say, oh, I know what you've been through, you're taking it away from them and making it about you. Oh, yeah, you know, my boss is giving me such a hard time. I know oh, my boss gives me a hard time too. Yeah. You're, you're stealing that part of them opening to share because you're taking it from them. It yeah. doesn't seem like a big deal, but it's really powerful. Yeah. Mm, really, it is. It yeah, should, it really is. Yeah, and yeah. Or I've, been, I've had it before, or I've, I've been there before. Mm, yeah. It's because it's not about the person trying to help, it's just about the person that's trying to share. Yeah, and I can understand that I've done that myself and I still do this and I have to stop myself because mm-hmm. I'm thinking it's like trying to connect in a different way in a kind of, I've been yeah. there with you, I understand you. just want to help you. make them feel better. Yeah. So yeah. that's really great that you've yeah. pointed that out. Yeah. And on the flip side, people may be like, well, what do you say then? Mm. You can say things like, that's, that must be really hard. Tell mm. me more about it. Yeah. That must just be continue re- listening. Yeah, so listen, yeah. Like, yeah. that must be really hard for you. Like I, I'm assuming that's making you feel really upset. Tell mm-hmm. me more about why it's upsetting you. Yeah. Allow them, keep the doorway open for the communication. Yeah. Mm. Just like, I understand in terms of, I understand, so that must be really tri- difficult for you. Tell me more about it. Yeah. So yeah. keep it on them, yeah. keep the, the conversation going so they can share. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And you'll find they tell, say more and more and more and more, and they'll walk away from the conversation thinking, wow, that person really understood me. You didn't say a lot. You didn't say, mm. yeah, exactly. You said, allowed them space. There's a real beauty in humans when you can do it. Yeah. Mm. And we're seeing you everywhere at the moment. Yes. We're seeing you like here, there, and everywhere. Yeah. So um, tell us what you're doing to get kind of out there, some publicity about Happiness Co., yeah, your marketing, marketing, like what you're doing. And I know Regan's been helping you use with some bits and pieces as well. So, yeah, yeah tell us. What yeah. yeah, I think the biggest part of this <coughs> kind of social movement is, yeah. is, is marketing and how you deliver that to your audience. Because mm-hmm. Happiness Co. is such a pure brand. It really is. I, I like to say to people, I, I want it to reflect the best in all of us. Mm-hmm. Not the best in me, the best in every single individual because I want to make it the people's chant. Which is, everyone has ownership of making someone else's life a little better and also committing to growing themselves. Mm-hmm. And with that, you need great people and you need great support. And 
I say this quite a bit. You can have the best book and no one reads it, the best movie, no one watches it, the best song, no one listens to it. That's why marketing is so important. Because mm. without it, happiness code is just a really great idea. Yeah. yeah. It needs to have Doesn't substance. Yeah. It needs to mean something to someone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, it needs when people see it, they're like, I want to work with happiness code, that's how I'm feeling. It needs to speak to them. Mm-hmm. It needs to influence them. It needs to know that they can help their lives or they can change because of it. And without marketing, it's just oh. one man's vision or a team's vision. And yeah. the work we're doing with your social voice is allowing us to deliver our message in a really effective way. Yeah, which is, I'm not a marketing specialist. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I'm, I, I'm a breakthrough specialist. I'm, I'm about helping people break through their challenges and, yeah. and move on. So my passion, my enthusiasm, my team's passion, my team's enthusiasm only goes as far as the vessel of marketing and delivery to who's watching. Mm-hmm. So yeah, we are um, everywhere right now, which is super exciting, and I'm, I'm so humbled, and the whole team is really excited about that, because Happiness Co., you know, it's, it's, it's part of people, mm-hmm. and it will continue to be part of people from for, for when it starts until when it ends, and we're talking about a global reach. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Without, without marketing and PR and branding and advertising and, and, and supporting what we do, you can never have a global reach. No, yeah. of course, yeah. So you've got, obviously, the team here at Your Social Voice supporting you, and they're running everything for you, or what we call our done-for-you services, yeah. Yeah. and then you're here and getting feedback and kind of working with us, really. Yeah, yeah 100%. And I think it's like, if you're not best in world, Get someone that's best in the world to do it. To do it, yeah. Like, we're best in the world at what we do in mm-hmm. terms of the happiness code component. Ooh. We're not best in the world in delivering that message to people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And your social voice is. So, yeah, done for you marketing. It's like, I can just go out and do what I do best. Mm-hmm. My team can go out and do what they do Focus best. Focus on what you need to do. Yeah. And, and there's greater minds. minds. There's more, they're more invested minds. Do what they're good at. They're best in world skills. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. I'm a speaker by trade, so I just go and speak and train and facilitate. Mm-hmm. The more time I'm thinking about training people and helping them break through, the less time I have to worry about marketing when I have someone else to do it. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's really powerful yeah. for us. And it's yeah. been a really great process of why we've been so busy lately yeah. because people are seeing us everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Um, on that as well, tell us a few of the ambassadors that you have on board at the yeah. moment that's helping spread that through marketing because there's a few that have come on board that is quite exciting. I don't know if you can, can you disclose? Can you disclose? Yeah. yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> I can't disclose all of them, I can disclose yeah. a few that okay. were just a couple, right. yeah. Um, so uh, Heidi from 92.9, so the real Heidi, and she's a great advocate of, of what we're doing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and then we've got a few other, like I guess, profile ambassadors coming. We're just finalising their agreements. Mm-hmm. Uh, a few Paralympians, a few uh, sporting awesome. icons, uh, a, a bit of local media. Mm-hmm. And the reason why is that we've got, we've got a mix. We've got profile ambassadors as such, Mm-hmm. Um, which already have influence in the community. Yeah. And then we have everyday ambassadors, which are people that have come through the program yeah. mm, and I love that. decided yeah. that I want to grow and I want to change and they did it. And now they're helping other people on that journey. Oh, that's and awesome. that's really the, the heart of what we do. Together we can. Yeah. You don't have to be a, a, a sporting icon or someone in media or an actor or a singer to change your own life or make someone else's life better. Yeah. It, it helps at times, and but again, together we can. You can just be a mum at home with some kids, or you can be a mum that's working, or you can just be someone that's so passionate and driven to help people. You can be a guy that's got kids, or a guy, a young guy, an old guy. It doesn't really matter where you are in your life, mm. in that life journey. You have, an op- 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 I say, an obligation to give yeah. back, mm. to make someone else's life a little better, because these problems that we've created in terms of society problems like this disconnection we created it and yeah. we can fix it and the, ab, uh, the, the ambassadors are great advocates of that yeah. so what advocates kind of, of change sorry i was just gonna say what kind of things would they be doing as ambassadors what would their role what kind of every day yeah. monthly i don't know how it works yeah, so they help us inside the program mm-hmm. so they train people so oh beautiful things think about they learn a skill and they train Mm-hmm. other people so they grow and give grow and give grow and give because happiness code is not about me happiness code is about everyday people yeah. so yeah. they get to grow it and then teach it and there's nothing more amazing that makes you feel great and the ambassadors will tell you this that they got a chance to make someone else's life a little better mm. because I've been doing this work for a long time so it's part of what I do and it lights me up every single day to be able to go out and, and make a difference yeah. doesn't matter if it's one person or ten people or a thousand people to make a difference every single day and that's a that social responsibility to give that power, that empowerment to mm. every people, everyday people, mm-hmm. and say, now I get the chance to make someone else's life a little better. Yeah. yeah so that will grow and grow and grow and go. Uh, we're looking at bringing on like 100 ambassadors in the next kind of 12 oh, months, which nice. is huge for us. We've got that's 20 awesome. now. Yeah. Some amazing brand ambassadors. 
but like anything in life, you get enough great mind, you know, great people that are inspired, that are driven, that want to make a difference. It can be the change that champions the change in the world. Yeah. And one of the biggest things that we say is that happiness can change life, even even save one. That's and so true. Yeah. Yeah. They are, yeah. They are supporters of that. This yeah. is so all of it is so powerful. Yeah. And it is incredible work what you're doing. Um, and yeah, you're no. you've got a launch party. We do have a lot of fun. Are allowed to talk about that? Yeah, we are. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Next Sunday night, so if anyone's uh, watching this video right now, and we've got about 30 tickets that are being released to the public. Um, be we can post the link in the description yeah. as well if you want to have a look. Yeah, yeah so it'll be, so. Like, it'll be a heap of fun. We've got cartoonists and balloonists <laughs> and, and musicians and, and lots of fun about... Cause, you know, about happiness, right? Yeah, happiness is fun. Who doesn't love a, a balloon, though? Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I don't know how they do them. <laughs> all, 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 all kind of proceeds go to uh, AUAK, uh, yeah. which is, a, again, our big brand partner and stuff. We're really proud of that. But if you are looking at uh, doing some work with Happiness Code, come along. We'd love to have you there. Mm -hmm. Only 30 uh, tickets to the public. So I think we've sold about 150 now, which is, nice. which is super exciting. To support something that means something to people, which mm. is super, super exciting. Mm. And that's the thing. The response that you've gotten from everybody, because it is a social movement, the response, and it's helping people the response is amazing like yeah. everybody that i've seen you speak to has just been in awe of what jules is doing yeah. um and it's getting legs because it it, it has that that yeah, yeah. It has it's it's like, it's that, it's got that yeah. that's the thing everybody wants to get behind it because there's a need for it and you know who doesn't want to be happy and who doesn't want to help someone be happy exactly. i mean how good do you feel when you do something nice for someone yeah and the know? fact that so. it's it's something that you're very passionate about and yeah. we know the story behind that but also the fact that you're empowering people to yeah. take ownership yeah. and you're empowering people and like you said it's not just about me it's not about these people it's about you as an individual and what you can do so mm. we're talking to everyone we're not just putting someone on a pedestal yeah exactly. so that's what i love yeah. about yeah, it's, it yeah it's that really togetherness yeah yeah that you know, talking about connection and relationships, I want Happiness Code, we want Happiness Code to be part of people. Mm -hmm. It's like, when you think of it, it's like, again, it's the best in all of us. And everyone wants to make a difference. They mm -hmm. just don't know how. Yeah. Everyone wants to roll up their sleeves and help someone. And so many of us do the writing and give to charity, which is really powerful. And I'm a big advocate of that as well, like yeah. giving um, to charity so they can make great things happen. But mm -hmm. this is the same. Social responsibility, like... Giving and being part of what we're trying to do is, is part of a movement, which mm -hmm. is I'm putting my hand up to want to grow because if you should always aim for never never ending improvement. Mm -hmm. You never yeah. find who you are. It's like growth. It's like finding yourself every single day. Mm -hmm. Finding <laughs> happiness in the moment by growing mm -hmm. every single day because yeah. if you want to be happy, a really simple way to do it is grow and contribute because growth, ha progress is happiness. Yeah. It's like I, I feel like I'm making progress and I'm happy. Mm -hmm. That's really good to know. Yeah. Like really, really good to know because I'm not sure if everyone does realise that. No. You know. Unfortunately, yeah. a lot of people are caught up in the rat race of life. Mm. Get a bed, go to work. Themselves. That's the thing. They're constantly comparing themselves to other people. Yeah. We go out and get yeah. jobs we don't need. Or sorry, we go out and get things we don't need to impress people we don't like, mm. to have lives that we don't even enjoy. Yeah. Mm. It's like, let's get back to being real, like real issues, real people, real problems. And when we can do that, we will come together again. Like yeah. We're cr creating divides amongst people because we, we're connected by two things, pain and pleasure. Mm. We're always connecting with our pleasure all the time about how great our lives are. But honestly, at the core of who we are, we've all got sadness. We've all got insecurities. Mm -hmm. We all have fear. Yeah. If we're allowed to talk about them, we've got a long way of saying that we're just normal people with normal challenges. How can we make it better? Not doom and gloom. It's like, mm. this is my challenge. Let's make it better. Yeah. And let's do it together. Mm. Yeah, exactly. Together we can. Right? Together, together we can. We can. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Um, so are we going to be seeing Happiness Co on the streets around Perth? We will yes. be seeing Happiness Co on the streets. We're uh, you know, a few months away from uh, launching our road team. Mm. Woo! Uh, I love this. I, I love want to test drive. You cannot tell us. Can't. I, I don't have you. my license. I'm joking. I'm you can't drive. You can't drive. <laughs> I want to test drive. <laughs> because the social movement requires... Ongoing presence, mm. and as you guys would say, omnipresence about being in people's faces, and you know about these guys being on the streets of Perth and and in Melbourne and in Sydney and in Brisbane uh, as we do a nationwide campaign. About it doesn't take a lot to make yourself a little happier. It doesn't mm. take a lot to make someone else a lot happier. It's about waking up every single day and doing their little things well. And I think there's a misconception, and for everyone watching, there's a really misconception about what makes people happy. It's mm. not the big fireworks and the sunshine and rainbows. It's the little things every single day, day in, day out, that will make you happy, not just today, not just tomorrow, but long term, because mm -hmm. you're making choices for you. 
And exactly. when you do that for yourself and other people, great things happen. That's what the, the heroes of the Streets of Perth will be about. Yeah. The road team will yeah. be about just doing the little things well. I yeah. just love this. And that's another thing you're doing as well is everyday heroes. Everyday heroes. Yeah. 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 So we're not, um, George doesn't only have, the Happiness Co. doesn't only have ambassadors, they have everyday heroes as well, which is another movement in itself and it involves everybody and yeah. everybody gets behind it. So It's pretty much so you think about, you know, find your happy day and, you know, Everyone comes together and goes out and does something kind for someone else. And, you know, yeah. 10,000 people and 20,000 people and 30,000 people did something kind for someone else on one day. Mm. It's a lot of traction. Yeah. yeah. And for some people, that may be, like, oh, that's all, all, all well and good, uh, but what about the rest of the days of the year? That's why we've got the road teams. That's why we've got the happiness challenge. Because we're not just a social movement. We have a 21-day happiness program, and we have programs that we offer people as well. Yeah. And this is where our point of difference really is. Yeah. So we're a social movement with some social responsibility and we also assist and support along the way. Mm. Which I makes like the concept really powerful to people. Yeah, yeah. It of course. Yeah, it's not just about, it's not just all oh, that sounds really good, it looks really good. Oh actually there's also some intangible uh, programs I may could do if I'm a little lost right now. Yeah. Mm. And that's the thing, like doing something that makes you happy can be as little as I know that I do it quite a lot. If I get a parking ticket and I've got a couple of hours left. I'll go and give it to someone who's just parked. Yeah. And then you drive away and you're like, oh, good deed done for the yeah. day. You know, and it's not even that big of a deal. But to that person, they smile and say, thank you, thank you so much. And that's like a, you know, exchange of happiness in a way. You it know? Is, it and is. it does. It brings a smile to each person's face. Yeah. Or yeah. giving someone a high five. Try smiling without doing a high five. Yeah. Like the happiness <laughs> happiness high five. Yes. But you're happiness right. Happiness high five. Yeah. And, and so many people, as I mentioned before, like on average we have about 12 emotions a day and eight of them are negative. We're so accustomed to seeing the bad in the world, mm. and the mm -hmm. bad in how we feel, and the bad in how we think. But ultimately, it's not supposed to be that hard. Mm. It's, it's, it's really, life is difficult, yes, and life is going to throw you some curveballs, yes, but you know what? We have so much to be grateful for. We have so much that makes our life better if we choose it. Mm. If you choose to take ownership and say, I'm going to be the victor and make that sadness your strength and that pain that your, your power. Yeah. And I've seen thousands of people now I've worked with make that choice. Mm. That's all starts. It starts with a choice. Yeah. And we want to be at the forefront of, of helping people make it because it's really hard to get to there to make the choice. And we mm. want to be there with people to say, it's the right choice for you. And, and yeah. you're ready to make the choice to change. Yeah, and so I'd encourage anyone to go into, if they're thinking, okay, well, I'm hearing little bits and pieces that I really like, mm -hmm. but I'm not quite sure how I'd start implementing, well, there's the happiness challenge. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that's where you'd start, and you can find out so much more information once you're in there. Yeah. You yeah. can go on to become an ambassador, etc. So, so many ways yeah. to be involved. And ultimately, if I wanted to simplify the whole thing, self-love, happiness by design would give you flow. Mm -hmm. And what flow means, when you're in flow in life, good things just happen. Like the more you love life, the more life will love you back. The more you give it, the more life will give you back. Not straight away, but it's unconditional. Because mm -hmm. yeah. when you love who you are, mm -hmm. and when you stop trying to fake who you are, which is really important for mm -hmm. yes. that one, yes. stop trying to fake who you are, you can't fake it. Mm -hmm. No wonder we're so unhappy because we're trying to project someone we're not. Mm -hmm. Just be you in a world that's trying to make you someone else is the greatest gift that you have. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in alignment with who you really are. Yeah. Alignment, so, yeah. Yeah. alignment. And then that's which happiness. I've got self-love. I know who I am and I know what makes me happy. I'm going to design that and that's mm. why we talk about life by design. Mm. You can design anything you want in life. I design this person. I condition this person. Mm. You can condition anything you want to feel and think by doing the work. Mm. So. so true. And I'm, I'm so excited. Yeah. Like, because literally over the next few months, it's, I can see it all rolling along now. And your, like the I said, your amazing. The, yeah, right momentum is Ridiculous amazing. Amazing. Yeah. yeah, and I can just see it getting bigger and bigger as it goes yeah. more nationwide. Mm -hmm. And the fact that more people, once it's launched, once you're on the streets and yeah. stuff like that, I'm just so excited yeah. to see where yeah. this is going to go. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, but thank you so much. It's been really powerful. And the reason momentum happens because people want to be part of something that feels good. Yeah. yeah. You know that mindfulness is a really big thing about mindfulness now and making good choices and decisions. People are sick and tired of hearing about the Kardashians and how bad life could be <laughs> or how yeah. bad life is. Yeah. Yeah. We want some refreshing news and saying that life is so great. Mm -hmm. And that it's not always great. Remember, like, I always talk about happiness. Happiness is this self-love and happiness and who you are is like a blue sky. Mm -hmm. And sadness is like a cloud. Being angry is like a cloud. Being mm. frustrated is like a cloud. These will come and go. Mm. 
Mm. But the sky is always blue. Mm-hmm. And who you are is always that. Yeah. And if you can help people understand that they're always blue, mm-hmm. not always their emotions, that's really powerful for them. Yeah. Oh. Awesome. awesome. Cool. So if people want to get involved, we'll put a link to Jules's, um, well, not Jules's, but the Happiness Co. movement and the Facebook and everything yeah. like that in the yeah. description. Um, anybody has any questions, please feel free to comment and we'll be checking the comments. Beautiful. For an hour or so afterwards. Yeah. And yeah. Thanks for coming. Thank, Thank you. So, Is so that, excited. Yeah. Anything else that we anything haven't wanna... covered? You just want to say to anyone listening? Yeah. Or uh, we, have we asked everything? I think I've asked and you've done a great job. And thank you for everyone listening. If you do want to find out more, please reach out to myself or the Happiness Co. crew and we'd be happy to help. And ultimately, remember, it's about finding your happiness in the moment, supporting people with, together we can, and ultimately, you know, happiness could change your life even save one. And hopefully you guys have some great value for today. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you. Namaste. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> Namaste. Namaste. Now, now I have to work out how to turn this off. Um, oh. Yes, so, it's the red dot. It's not